Hello, what is best for UK here and welcome to today's Game of Dev video. Now today's game is Bubble Bobble on the uh, Apple II. So let's have a look at this one. So I've looked at this on various other formats but never played the Apple II version. So it says players, select one, to, one or two players and fire button starts. So this one's by Nova Logic, programmed by Chris Isangil, or however you pronounce it. I apologise if I pronounced it wrong. If you're watching, I don't think you are though, but <laughs> if you are. Can we do it? 1988 Tartio America. So this is based off on the coin up machine of the same name. So let's have a look at the Apple II version fares. So, uh, yep, okay, so let's uh, start the game. Now it is the beginning of a fantastic story. Let's make a journey to the Cave of Monsters. Good luck. So this bit would normally have music on the arcade machine, but not quite on this one. As you can see, okay, so this is Bubble Bubble in Apple II. It's quite slow on first impression. Right, sadly there's no music in the game. Well, these sound effects for the bubbles. Okay, so here comes the baddies. So the baddies have only just appeared, so that's quite slow, isn't it? Right, okay, so basically the objective is to... Hey, I've got all the baddies. Okay, that was weird. Right, okay. So the baddies seem to disappear on this version. Okay. Right, so shoot a bubble at the baddie and then burst the bubble afterwards. That's how you destroy the baddies. And once you've got all the baddies on each level, you've completed the level. As you're probably aware if you played the game, because most people have. Okay, for some reason you get some music at the end of each level or in between levels rather than in game. So maybe there was uh, constraints that couldn't allow them to do the music in game. I'm not sure, but yeah. Okay, so let's go into level two and yeah. Okay, so let's get that buddy there. Right, okay, watch out for these guys. Oh, you fucking got me. Oh, you Buddha. Okay, so back on the start. The buddies seem to disappear a lot on this version, unless it's something to do with my emulator, I'm not sure. Seem to disappear and reappear for some reason. Oh, you been... What the fuck happened then? I think the buddies sort of teleport in and out, which is on you is not, not normal on the game. Right, okay. Let's get this one here. There we go. So I'm not sure, I couldn't tell you if the Apple II version's got simultaneous two-player or if it's just turn by turn basis. I do you find it kind of strange that it has music in between each screen rather than in game. So yeah the graphics are quite uh, limited. They're not the best graphics, they're not the most colourful. Um, there is a bit of colour to it though. I mean Bubble Bubble himself, is, well Bubble himself is green and the bubbles he fires are green as well. Look I, got, I just died there for no reason, some sort of collision detection. I think it might be a uh, Maybe it's maybe a problem with the emulator handling the game properly. I'm not quite sure. If anyone knows in the comments why the baddies keep disappearing and and then reappearing, let me know. Could, like I said, it could just be my emulator. Um, if anyone's got any experience with playing the game on a real hardware. Okay, so look, I just died then again for no reason. Right. Okay, so let's get this bubble here. See. See the baddies? Yeah, the baddies are disappearing. I think there must be some sort of issue with the emulator here on this Monday evening. But yeah, um, so it's the start of another working week, so Monday blues. And uh, yep, so uh, I'm going to give Bubble Bubble, I'm going to disregard the uh, baddies disappearing and just put it down to emulator issues. I'm just going to review the game itself. And yeah, not too bad, uh, a bit slow, a bit sluggish. Uh, now music in game and uh, but yeah or, or other than that um, pretty accurate conversion so I'm gonna give this one 7 out of 10 so I'd like to thank you for watching Good.